primary 5 computing studies computer in action chapter 1 computer hardware you can see many computer hardwares in the picture among them monitor cpu keyboard mouse we can see outside the computer and same time there are some computer hardwares inside the computer system in this chapter we are going to learn about some of computer hardwares hardware components of a computer system now we know a computer system is made up with different kind of hardwares. Each hardware component performs a special task. That means they have different different things to do. Uh, and we can divide these hardware components into three categories. They are input devices, output devices, components inside the CPU books. These all components are work together to operate a computer system. That means if you want to do any work in the computer, this all computer work together to achieve that task. First we look at the input devices. We can use input devices to enter data and instruction into a computer system. We already learned the some input devices. They are keyboard, mouse and scanner. Let's learn some extra input devices that we are using computer system. Joystick. This one also like a mouse. That means we use this one to change the position of the cursor or any other object on the screen. This joystick we can see most of time that we are playing video games. Light pen. This one connects to the visual display unit that means we connect this one into the VDU so we can use this one to point something on the screen or draw objects on the screen microphone we can use microphone to input sounds into a computer system that means this it help in recording our voice or other sounds graphic tablets we are used this one to draw images and pictures on the computer screen to draw the pictures, we have to use stylus. Stylus means you can see on the picture, it's like a small pen. And this is good to capture the handwritten signatures of people. Barcode reader. You can see this barcode reader mainly in the supermarket. With use of barcode reader, we can read barcodes in the product. So, in supermarket, they can quickly say, record the sales of items. Touch screen. 
it is a touch sensitive computer display screen and we can see this kind of screen mainly in public places like atm machine and the ticket counters uh, and please remember in your smart mobile phone it also have a touch screen magnetic ink character recognition m i c r we use this to read characters in the bottom of the checks these characters are written using special magnetic ink digital camera we use this camera to capture images and it has a memory card to store data there are some digital cameras that we can use to record videos web camera we can use to record video using this camera and also we use uh, this one at the time of video chatting nowadays in many laptops comes with an inbuilt web camera you can see that one in the picture biometric devices nowadays many companies use these devices to identification and give access control to their workers using these devices we can scan and detect person's fingerprints face iris and so on now we look at the output devices we already know using input devices we can input data and instruction to the computer system after these data and instruction process we get a results using this output devices we can show this result to the users we already learn about monitor and speakers as a output device now we are look at another output devices printer using printer we can print text and pictures to a paper we call it hard copy there are two type of printers they are impact printer non impact printer impact printer this printer make a mark on a paper by striking a print head or a needle on the ink ribbon this printer make a noise and it is a slow dot matrix printer is the example for the impact printer non impact printer This printer do not strike the print head against the ink ribbon because of that it generate less noise and this printer faster than impact printers There are two type of printers They are laser printer and inkjet printer plotter This is a special type of printer used for producing high quality graphs or diagram. So, this plotter used by engineers, architects and map makers to print their plans of building, diagrams and large scale of maps. we already finished the discuss hardware devices that in outside the computer now we are going to learn about components inside the cpu box switched mode 
power supply we can call it is mps this used for convert the incoming electricity into proper voltage and supply it to the other parts inside the cpu box motherboard motherboard holds important components of a computer system such as the processor memory chips and several card such as sound card and video card processor or cpu this is a brain of a computer why we call it like that because cpu process the data and instruction provided to the input devices and the and it passed on the results of processing to the output devices memory chips there are two types of memory chips on the motherboard ram random access memory this is the read and write memory when we are switch on the computer it loads operating system into the ram after that when we open any program that program also loaded into the ram and this is a volatile memory that mean if the power is gone the everything in the ram also loss ram read only memory once we written something onto a ram chip it cannot be removed and it is non volatile memory that mean if the power is gone nothing happen to the things in a memory so we used to store bios in rom bios mean basic input output system that mean it helps to load the operating system when a computer system is switched on ports you can see ports on the cpu box we use this for plug various devices onto a computer such as mouse keyboard printer speaker microphone scanner like that though you can see different different ports in here nowadays most devices are comes in like a usb ports drivers we used for store and retrieve data and applications on the storage devices we look at about three storage devices they are hard disk cd and dvd hard disk we can found hard disk inside the computer and it can store large amount of data whatever thing we are doing in a computer we can store on the hard disk cd and dvd though they are looks like the same dvd can store more than the cd and we have to use cd and dvd drivers to read and write information on the cd or a dvd hope you all enjoyed the lesson thank you